Hi, this is Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild a Walbro two-cycle carburetor. The gaskets, o-rings, and other rubber components inside the carburetor can become hard and brittle over time. This is the reason you'd need to rebuild the carburetor. To rebuild your carburetor, you'll need a carburetor rebuild kit. To get the right kit, you'll need to find some numbers on your carburetor. On a Walbro carburetor, the numbers can be located almost anywhere on it. You can see they're here on our carburetor. The first part of the model number will be some letters. In our case, WT. This tells us what series the carburetor is. After that, we have some numbers. These are the actual model number. In our case, 827. Now we can go to the parts finder at ereplacementparts.com, type WT827 in, and find the proper rebuild kit along with all the other parts for this carburetor. Now we'll begin the disassembly of our carburetor. First I need to remove the screws in the base of the carb. I'll set these aside in the order that I remove them so I can keep track of where everything goes in the carburetor. Now I can remove the base plate, and that gives us the diaphragm and the bottom gasket. I'll peel those apart and set them aside, again in the same order that I removed them from the carburetor. With those out of the way, now I have access to the needle and the needle lever. We'll remove that next. Remember there's a spring under that, and you don't want to have that go flying across the shop when you remove it. And that takes care of this side of the carburetor. Now we can disassemble the other side of the carb. I'll use the same process here, but I'll make a new stack for this side of the carburetor to keep everything organized. Here you can see a gasket with the reed valves. I'll peel the reed valves away from the gasket and stack those separately. The last part we need to remove from this side of the carburetor is this little filtering screen. Just can use a pick to pull that out of the carburetor. Don't worry if you damage it because we will be replacing this piece. Now I'll just go ahead and pour out the new carburetor kit. The first thing you'll notice is there's a bunch of parts here that aren't used in our carburetor, and this is normal. The carburetor manufacturer makes the kit to fit dozens of different carburetors, so not all the parts will be used. I like to take and replace the old parts with new parts from the kit. That way when I go to reinstall everything, I'll know that I'm only using new parts. And I can just disregard the remaining parts. Now we'll begin reassembly. We'll start with the little filter screen. This is a pretty delicate part you have to be careful with. I like to set it in place, and then in this case I'm just using a small Allen wrench tip to press it down into its opening. Just make sure you don't tear it or crease it when you do this. Like that. Now I'll just take this cap, add the new gasket, and the reed valve. And I can place this assembly onto the carburetor. And replace the screw. Now we'll move to the other side of the carb. The first piece we'll reassemble on this side of the carburetor is the needle assembly. I'll start by placing the spring onto the carburetor body. Then I like to place the needle onto the lifter assembly. 
Now I can just drop this whole assembly into the carburetor. I'll hold that in place as I put the screw back in. Like that. And now it's just a matter of replacing the gasket, the diaphragm, and the plate. And that secures with the four screws. Rebuilding a carburetor sounds like a difficult repair, but as you can see, it's really quite easy. And this repair will save you a lot of money at the repair shop. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a comment or ask a question.